what is up you guys and welcome back to the channel so today's video i'm going to be showing you my entire goal setting process using my ipad now i'm going to be showing you how i create my digital bullet journal spreads and how i just stay motivated this is something i like to do at the end of every year as the year starts to wind down just so i can make sure i'm getting the most out of my year and just making sure that i'm going into 2021 feeling really good of course i always show you guys what i'm listening to i've been loving the oh wonder album it just reminds me of fall I've also been listening to slash reading Throne of Glass, which is a fantasy series by Sarah J Maas that I've been loving as well. The first thing I like to do is make a vision board. So I go onto my Pinterest, which I will have linked below. I update it almost every single day. And I go in and I find images that really resonate with the goals I'm trying to achieve. So I will put inspiring images like this desk setup that just is, would be a dream. I'm finding different yoga poses because that is another goal that I'm trying to stick with. I'm going through different sustainable images just because that is a big goal of mine and that is the reason why I started digitally planning was because I didn't want to waste any more paper buying paper planners and doing that kind of thing. So I'm just going through and finding images that really excite me. This is going to be different for every single person, but I recommend picking photos that make you want to get up and go achieve your goals like just images that make you feel so excited about life because i know sometimes it can get a little bit dreary towards the end of the year you know you're tired and it's getting colder and the days are shorter but i find that this is the time of year i really like to just go into the new year feeling really, really good. This vision board really helps me. I go back to this vision board whenever I'm feeling uninspired or unmotivated and looking at all of these pictures of people that really inspire me just helps me wanna get up and keep going. I just took a bunch of screenshots and then uploaded it to Illustrator and made the collage there, but you could use Canva, which is free. And I think you could even do this in like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So now we're going to set up our digital bullet journal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Procreate and you're going to want to add an image of graph paper or dot grid paper, whatever you prefer. I like graph paper personally. And then I create a little almost like booklet within Procreate. You just drag and drop um, each of the images into its own section and then duplicate that page so you have a section all for your digital bullet journaling pages. So now it is time to actually go through and write out your goals for the end of the year. Now I like to go back and reference my goals from the beginning of the year and kind of refresh them and edit them because they're going to change and the goals that you had at the beginning of the year may not align with what you want now. And I just kind of like to refresh and revamp and get re-inspired for the last few months of the year. So I'm making these little boxes, as you can see, you just draw the square in one go and then you press down and it makes a perfect square. So I did six sections with six different categories of goals. So I have health, personal, Etsy shop, spiritual, money, and work. And these are just the categories that fit into my life, but of course you can do more categories, less categories, kind of do it based on your lifestyle and what is important to you. 
So then I just start going in and writing out my goals. As you can see here, I'm putting in join a gym, wake up at six. I really wanna get back on a good workout schedule. I used to be super disciplined about waking up early and working out, but since I started this shop, I've just been so focused on it that I kinda let that go a little bit, but I wanna get back on that for the end of the year. And then I'm writing down some of my financial goals and you know these are pretty basic i just want to save more you know eat less take out and i also want to learn more and you know maybe read a book or listen to some podcasts about finances so then for the shop my major focus has been to launch the 2021 planner if you've been following me on instagram i've been sneaking out some little previews of it and if you're interested in the 2021 planner just be sure to follow me on instagram and I will update you when those go live. I also wanna create more freebies for you guys. I have a freebie VIP room, which is basically just a Google Drive with a bunch of freebies that you guys can pick from. And I really wanna focus on making more of those because they're really fun and who doesn't love freebies? As far as personal goals, I feel like I'm always trying to get on a good early wake up schedule. Also, I want to be better about watering my plants. As you can see here, I have this little succulent that I almost killed and now he's growing in vertically instead of horizontally, which is wild. But yeah, I almost killed him, but I brought him back to life. But I do want to get better at watering my plants because I need to take care of them. As for my spiritual goals, I put gratitude and grounding every day. This is just something that helps me to stay positive and motivated and just stay grateful for everything that I have. And as far as work goals, if you don't know, I work a 9 to 5 job and I also work freelance. And when you're trying to pursue a creative side hustle, it's kind of hard to work in a 9 to 5 job because all you want to do is create for your small business. Can anyone relate? Let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to write out my ideal week. Now this is something I like to do. Just write out if I was gonna have the most perfect productive week, what would it look like? And I accidentally wrote ideal day. I meant to write ideal week. You'll see wherever I realized that I wrote it wrong later but I like to do this ideal weekly schedule where I, I put what workout I'm gonna do every day and what content I'm gonna do every day. And this is something that helps me to look back at it whenever, you know, maybe it's a random Tuesday and I'm like, what do I need to do today? I look back at that ideal week and see what Tuesday is and I'm like, okay, and I have a plan. And it just really helps me to Kind of think about it this way this is wherever i realize i wrote it wrong and this is the new spread and i chose some different colors which i like a lot better i also love using these little stamps by Threeology. she has a little spark pack and they just add little stars really easily on procreate and i love using these in my art and in my digital bullet journaling setup Visualize seeing yourself as. Yeah, I would visualize. Uh, yeah, I would this visualize. This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or whatever that is. And and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, well, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And uh, and I, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million, dollars, and dollars, and dollars, and dollars. So I like to plan out my ideal week. So I'll put my workout 
and whatever content I'm going to post that day. This just helps me to stick to a consistent schedule. These are two things in my life that like I need to have on a schedule or else they will just kind of fall off to the side. Everything else kind of I'm so used to doing, but these two things I like to create a really solid plan so that I can get in a really good routine and this always just helps me to feel more organized and to actually stick to a schedule once I actually write it out and then it feels like it's, it's set in stone. And then I like to write out my ideal day. So how, if I was going to spend the most perfect productive day, what would I want to do? What would, what would the best version of myself do every single day? And this honestly helps me to just visualize the schedule. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm a very visual person. And so while it could, I could just say, oh, I'm going to get up tomorrow at 6 a.m. and work out and do this. For some reason, it doesn't fully register until I have it written down in front of me and I can see it. And it just makes it so much easier for me to actually stick to a routine and to create those healthy habits that can sometimes be really hard to stick to. I find that whenever I actually have a visual representation of what I want my habits to be and the type of person I want to be, it just makes it so much easier for me to stick to it. So I kind of did little color blocks for each section of the ideal day, kind of time blocking how I want to spend each day and I think it turned out really cute. I like these colors a lot. And I also put in this little box down here for some habits that I like to have every day because while my schedule shows like the main blocks of time and how those will be spent, there's things I like to do like drink a lot of water, wake up early, meditate, you know, wind down at the end of the day. Because sometimes I'll just work until 10 o'clock and then I go to sleep and I can't sleep and just writing down little habits like that. How do I want to spend my day? Now I'm just brainstorming some content ideas. This is a part of the planning where you can just brainstorm ideas for whatever your passion project is or anything that really resonates to you. So for me, I'm brainstorming some content ideas that I can post throughout the end of the year but maybe you are an artist and you could brainstorm some different art pieces you want to make. Or maybe you are a chef and you can brainstorm some different recipes. Whatever makes sense to you in this section is what you can do. So then you have your finished digital bullet journal set up in Procreate and we are going to add it to our Flourish Planner in GoodNotes. And there you have it. There is the final goal setting setup. We have our goals, our vision board, our ideal week, our ideal day, and our content brainstorm. So we are ready to go. I'm feeling super inspired and ready to just go wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow and just crush the rest of 2020. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, it would really mean a lot to me. I am having so much fun making these videos, so just let me know what you guys think of it and what video you want me to make next, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.